Hi everyone, so today I come to you from the floor and I wanted to do more of a casual chatty sort of video in a way but I wanted to answer a question that I've had a few times uh, since I finished my Open University degree back in July. It's November now, 2nd of November. Yes, Tuesday, 2nd of November 2021. I finished my Open University degree. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos then I've got loads on that but I did an open university degree in mathematics and physics and now I'm done. It took me five years, I'm done, I don't have to do it anymore and I'm very happy about that. But the question that I've had so many times since I finished that and I mean I say so many times, not that many but it's basically the only question I've had about my studies and it's what are you gonna do next? Are you doing the masters from the open university? What are you doing? And I feel like when you study a science degree especially, maths, physics, that kind of thing, people always expect you to then do a master's and then do a PhD and then you work somewhere. That's kind of like the natural path when you are studying physics I guess and I'm gonna base everything on the physics side more than the math side just because my personal interest is within physics. I like maths, I do like solving things and doing equations and that kind of thing. I do like it but my actual like interest that drew me to studying that degree was physics. Astrophysics especially but we all know um, that that class wasn't my favorite because <clears throat> group projects but I do love there's two things that I mainly love about physics at the minute and that is one astrophysics I still love it that class was not the best but I love it. I love space, I love the planets, I love stars, I love all that. Great. And then quantum physics, which was the surprise that I had when I went through it a couple years ago. I think it was a level two class. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a bit of quantum physics towards the end of that and that made me study the quantum physics module for my level three choices and loved it. Very complicated. The exam was way more difficult than any of the papers we've seen before. So the exam was not my favorite, but the topic that itself and what I was learning, I loved it. And the applications of it, it's just, it's crazy to me. There are so many things there that are just mind blowing that, you know, I just wanted to know more about and I loved learning. If we think about what am I doing next? At the minute, and I'm gonna say straight away, I'm not, you know, this is not clickbait, I'm not dragging this out. I don't wanna do anything at the minute. I feel like I spent five years of my life doing that degree. If you don't know my background, I already had a degree in journalism, which we don't talk about, because why did I do that? I never in my life intended to do a humanities degree. It's not my thing, but you know, 17, 18 year old me just got confused and thought that, I mean, I liked writing and I still like writing. And I just went down that road and, you know, we don't talk about it. I do believe that, you know, it's led me to YouTube and social media and all these things and meeting the people that I've met. So I'm very happy that I did that degree for that reason. But in terms of me, you know, doing something that I like, journalism is not it. <laughs> Definitely not it. Uh, marketing, social media, maybe I do enjoy it a bit, but you know. I do have that degree and that is sort of the career that I currently have within that field. I thought, you know, before when I started my Open University degree, I thought maybe I can work in this field, in, you know, physics, astrophysics, whichever one it is. But life, you know, life changes. Five years was a long time and I got married and I bought this flat with my husband, boyfriend at the time, husband now. We've got stuff to pay for it so I can't really go back to like a 20, low 20s salary in an entry-level physics role, research role, because they're not very well paid. They're just not very well paid and I'll tell you that. So whatever I do next, I think just has to continue that passion that I had for learning and passion that I have had. Why did I say I had? My subconscious trying to do me dirty on that one, but a uh, passion that I have for learning and to continue that path of learning rather than changing my career I think at this point. The good thing is if later down the line I do feel like I want to change it then I can because I'm gonna have the degree and you know whatever learning I do is not just for learning. It can have that you know it can be put towards that in the future. At this moment it's not something that I'm looking to do so when I'm thinking about 
starting a master's degree that might take at least two years to do. I just, I just remember how stressed I was studying the degree and how free I am now that I've got that time. And I just don't feel like I want to do it right now. It doesn't mean I won't ever do it. But equally, if I'm thinking about doing a master's and then potentially doing a PhD after that, who knows, maybe when I'm retired and I feel like I've got a lot of time, I don't even know what I would do. As I said, there's two main branches of physics that I enjoy and that is astrophysics and quantum physics. So I'm like, if I were to study beyond my current degree, you have to specialize yourself. You have to not even just find a branch, but find a specific research topic that you enjoy from that branch. And at this point, I don't know what that is. I don't know which one I would do. I would hate to go down the planet's route and then realize that I wanted to do particle physics or you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And because I did mess up the first time that I studied something and I went and did journalism for whatever reason, I do feel like I cannot trust myself with picking at this point without knowing for sure. So what I will do, I'm not doing a master's as of right now and as of the next few years, but what I will do is learn more. I do want to find books that are not necessarily textbooks, but that are quite research focused and teaching focused, if that makes sense. They have to do with astrophysics, they have to do with quantum particles, and I do want to learn a lot more, but I want to do it in my own time. One of the things that I didn't really enjoy about the degree is how structured it all had to be. And to be completely honest, that's the reason why I did it, because before I did that degree, I tried learning on my own, I tried, you know, going on Wikipedia, finding books, doing that stuff, and I just lacked foundation to be able to learn all that stuff. I lacked the mathematical foundation, I lacked, you know, you don't know what you don't know. So I didn't know the things that I needed to know before I looked at a specific topic. Now that I have that foundation, I feel like I'm in a much better position to find any paper out there, to find any book out there and be able to read it and understand it without feeling like I was lacking that foundation and, you know, that I was reading something and I understood the words but I didn't actually know the implications of it and I think if you've studied physics and you've studied mathematics then you know what I'm talking about but you just, you feel like there's something that you're not getting and you don't know why and it's because you haven't learned the previous thing to it. So now that I know that, I feel like I'm in a much better position to learn, to read, to do all of it by myself in my own time and I will definitely do that and my aim with that is to find the topic that I enjoy the most. For no reason, it doesn't mean that if I find it I'm gonna do a master's, it doesn't mean that if I find it I'm gonna change career paths, but if I ever want to do that then I have to find that topic that I enjoy the most. So my main goal with reading and learning and finding books that I enjoy about physics and watching videos on YouTube is to find that one topic that I actually really like and then maybe I'll just learn more and more about it and maybe I'll want to do a master's and maybe I won't but you know I'll have that one topic that is my topic that I enjoy that I want to know more about that if someone asks me a question then I'm gonna know the answer. That's kind of it really. I feel like yeah there's that expectation that if you've gone all this way, if you've done all the work to get that Bachelor of Science from the Open University, yeah, that you've got to do something else afterwards with it. Sometimes you just don't, sometimes you're just, sometimes you're just happy with what you've done and you're quite, you know, you enjoyed it and that's it. And to be completely honest, it's expensive. So if I'm not 100% sure that I want to do it, then I'm not going to do it and I'm just gonna wait. One thing that the Open University has taught me is that it's never too late to go back and study. I've known people in my modules that were, you know, 18, 19, it was their first degree and they just wanted to do an online one. I've seen people like me who had other degrees before. I've seen people that were older but it was their first degree. And I've seen retired people just going back to studying and that's what they're doing. So it's really taught me that I'm not in a rush to change my career right now because of, you know, financial stuff. If I ever want to go back and study, I have the option to. At any point in my life, I can go back and study that master's and study that PhD, whatever it is that I want to do. Maybe I want to do a completely different degree. I don't know. Probably not, but you know, it's, it's an option out there. And it's never going to be too late to do that and it doesn't mean that if I have to do it or that 
It doesn't mean that if I do it, I have to do something with it. I can just do it for the sake of learning. When I'm retired, I might have some spare money. Hopefully that's the plan, but who knows? And I might wanna, you know, do that with my time. So yeah, I'm not closing the doors. I'm saying no for now, but I know that I'll keep learning one way or another. But for now, it's gonna be at my own pace with the stuff that I wanna do. So if you also enjoy astrophysics, if you also enjoy quantum physics, let me know in the comments below what are the books that I should be reading. I've got a couple downloaded that on my Apple books that I wanna read. But if you have any recommendations, let me know. And I also know that I owe you all, I should have said this at the start, but I owe you all a video about my all my modules, all the results that I got and all that stuff. So I will be uploading that. I'll be filming that at some point soon, hopefully, and uploading that for you guys to see. But yeah, let me know if this sort of video is interesting to you, just me chatting, rambling, that kind of thing. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, made you think, made you realize some stuff like Kylie Jenner would say. Not a very appropriate quote for the audience probably watching this video, but you know, it's what I thought about. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!